What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. In the last episode, we liberated Komatsu Forge with the help of Yuna and Taka. And in doing so, we have now allowed ourselves to progress to what is one of the last quest steps here in the main quest before we're able to eventually go and uh, rescue Lord Shibura from Castle Kanada. But in this episode, before we jump on into that final quest, we are going to do a little bit of extra side stuff that has now been opened up to us now that we've actually uh, freed Komatsu and made it our, uh, an allied area, which, of course, you know, made the whole map open up just a little bit. So I'm heading on over to this first question mark, which is not that far away from here. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a fox den, so we're going to take care of that, among, like I said, among other things. So, yeah, this is exciting. We made some upgrades the last episode, too. I upgraded my Ronin armor. And also was able to get myself a new saddle for Kage, which is very exciting. And we'll definitely be taking a look at that once we go for a ride with Kage again, probably after we do this den. Because I, I do want to be able to fit the Iron Hook uh, quest into this episode for sure. And I think we'll have time. I feel like the 25-minute change is like almost perfect so far. It isn't a whole lot of a difference, but not restricting myself as much to 20 minutes definitely opens things up more, I think, to actually get uh, a significant amount done in any given episode. Because that last quest, I mean, the one for liberating Kamasi Forge, that was a very lengthy and very, like, multifaceted quest that we did. So I'm glad we were able to get all that done in the last episode. So on to the shrine. And make some more progress towards our next minor charm slot. And pet the fox, of course. You know, I'm getting a lot more pets this playthrough than I remember in the last than I remember in my first playthrough. I don't know. I do appreciate it though. I definitely appreciate it. Alright, out you go, little buddy. Because I gotta go out the same way. It's kind of my only way out. Well, technically, I don't know, I probably could find another way up, but eh. Whatever. Alright, so next stop, there's another one over this way, so let's head on over to that. And we will ride Kage there. I think that's fair. And we get to check out his new saddle. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It looks beautiful. I love it. What an awesome saddle. All right. We should be able to get there in no time. And then we'll hurry on back and check out one more undiscovered location before we start the quest. But just a couple of miscellaneous things I would like to do because, man, we are doing a lot. And it is down that way, isn't it? Oh, boy. Um, I don't know how I'm going to actually be able to. Well, no. Here we go. This will be fine. We can manage this. Just kind of maneuver our way around. Like so. There we go. And I imagine the bird is taking us to the same place. I wonder if this is a haiku, actually. In fact, I think it is. Holy crap. Would you look at that? All right. Let's take some time and some silence and enjoy this. Peer through the mist and we'll be shattered but alive. And we receive the headband of strife. Take a look at that really quickly so we can see. Uh, personally, not a big fan of that one. I don't know. I just don't think that the color yellow works with much <laughs> at all, if I'm being honest. Um, also, hold on a second. Is it saying that I can upgrade this again? No, I didn't think so. Oh, it's probably talking about some of my other armor. Anyway, um, 
Okay, so our last stop, let's head on over to this one next. And I mean, it's close enough, the, p the pin that I just set. So, come on, Kage. Let's go. Got places to be. I actually am not a big fan. This lo looks kind of ashy, if I'm being honest, at the moment. I don't think, is there any volcanoes nearby? I don't know. Fire going? A bunch of fires raging? I mean, I do know there are all the way across the island. Wait a minute. Hold on. What do I count? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think we can do this. Okay, I see five now. Should be able to take out at least three, though, this way. Shouldn't be too bad, right? Now that we're running into the blue armor ones, though, it is a little bit concerning. But we do have that extra resolve now, so I'll take that. That is awesome. And then you have no helmet, so you can just die immediately. You, on the other hand, I think I'm going to let you come to me. Okay, I've already got the water stance equipped. Do your thing. Woo! Oh, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's take all of their stuff. Oh, my gosh. All of you need your suffering ended? Like, you should have just died on the initial slice, guys. Come on. Making it all harder for me. All right, well, let's grab this stuff. Personally, I just want this, because you get some good stuff out of these carts most of the time. Let's head on back over to Kage. I did not mean to do that. Oops. Accidentally swiped down on the touchpad. That is always kind of fun, though, just running up to NPCs and doing the little bow <laughs> and having them bow back. I don't know. I, I find it entertaining. It's it, We're being respectful, okay? We're just greet, going about greeting people, wishing them a good day. Is there anything really wrong with that? Why is the camera so zoomed in? Okay, there we go. That is, that is better. Sometimes the camera, when you're riding the horse, is not your friend. Now then, what are we going to find up here? I wonder. Wait, what is that? Is that a... Okay, for some reason, I thought I saw a horse there. That was not a horse. This... Ooh, this looks like a camp of some sort. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, I'm going to unmark that pin. Let's actually mark... Let's mark the lo location properly now. Oh, these are band... Wait a minute. What is happening here? Are these bandits about to go in and fight the Mongols? That's absolutely what's happening. Okay. Well, we can get involved in this. Fallen Outpost. Okay, what do we got here? What is the game asking of me? Let's see. Find and observe the Mongol leader. Kill staggered enemies. That's extremely easy to do. I am going to try to make my way up to this archer without being seen. There we go. Okay, we're good. Now then. Mongol... Okay, I see the Mongol leader immediately. But luckily, these guys are actually providing a nice distraction for me. So, oop, 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 oop. Hold on. Okay, horse, don't get into too much trouble. I need to find another way in here that doesn't involve the front gate. Let's see. Oop, can I please climb the rock? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have much of a choice. Okay, more, more coming in. That's fine. And we will fight them. I just... Oh, oh I, gotta, I gotta find another way to approach this. There's gotta be another way. Oh, wait. Did I get spotted? Shoot. Oh, not you. Oh, not you. No, I'm leaving. Goodbye. 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 No, 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 no. Do I really have to lead you this far away? Please. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Yes, go back. Go back. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I'm really not interested in that fight right now. Especially not in that way. Okay, there's got to be another way in here. Yeah, up you go. Up you go. Let's see. Oh, okay. This is promising. This is very promising. Okay, find and observe the Mongol leader. We definitely already found him. But now we need to observe him without him knowing we're there. Okay, uh, up you go, Jen. Thank you. Okay, so I, I see what they want. Squeeze through. Stay in the pompous grass. Okay, he is very much there. He's not really coming after us, is he? Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to get away with this one. Well, that was easy. I can't believe that worked. All right, I'm not complaining. 
Now, um, this is going to be a dumb thing to do, but we're going to do it. And I'm going to equip the black powder bomb. And we're going to crit stri critical strike. Now then. Let's stagger this guy. There we go. Okay, there's one stagger kill. Awesome. We can definitely get more. Oh, all right. Hi, guys. Hey, y'all want to come over here? I'm ready for you. Come here. Okay, that was not how I intended to do that. Okay, who else is alive? There's got to be more, right? Oh, please don't tell me that there's only the one. Oh, no, there's two. There's two. Come here. Oh, gosh, you're too weak. Hey, no, no, no. Attack me. Nope, that still didn't work. All right, there's got to be another way of doing this. Oh, almost got me. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what I want to see. Perfect. Okay, I can definitely stagger you. No! Ah! Gosh dang it. I'm not going to be able to get these staggers at this rate. I'm not going to get this bonus objective done. No, I think that was everybody. Gosh dang I think I let too many of the bandits kill everybody. Ah. Oh, well. We only... Well, at least we got one of the bonus objectives done. But I was hoping for both. That is a little bit upsetting. Uh, I would have had to have run in. And, and I don't think the bandits themselves count towards the bonus objective either if you kill them. So, like, while they're in here. Can I get... get no, no, I, okay, I didn't want to go up. I didn't want to go up. I want to go in the house, please. Thank you. All right. There's got to be stuff in here, right? There always is. There's some supplies. And that appears to be it. Well, then. What about in this house? Anything? And this one is just complete. Well, it's got some leather. Oh, well, that was kind of a disappointment. At least we got our two more points towards our moon stance upgrade, which is good. I, I won't complain about that at all. I mean, I am very much. Oh, gosh. Some more opened up. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to go straight to the Iron Hook because I already promised that. We can come back here in the next episode and then worry about um, this way, right? I think this way. Yes. Okay, we can worry about those other undiscovered locations later. For now, let's get going. Let's go. okay. More than anything, I'm happy about the stance upgrades. We actually might get the moon stance in this next mission now that I think about it because I don't, I don't really know very many uh, like major missions that... I mean, most major missions tend to have a leader in them somewhere. Uh, particularly the ones with the actual, like, the gold diamond ones. I'm not talking about the tail of missions. Those aren't, those don't necessarily count. But the, the actual, like, main quest missions always have leaders in them. Sometimes multiple ones. So, I, I think we probably will get the upgrade in this episode. Which would be cool, because then I'll get to actually show that off. And why that stance is both the best and the most useless in the game at the same time. I mean, I've already kind of shown why it's one of the more useless ones. Okay, this is not a good situation to be in. I am way too high. What the frick? Hmm. Let's see. Is there a lower point I can get myself down to? to like, shortcut my way down here? I know I'm being impatient. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Whoa, geez. Okay, we're fine. Let's drop down there. Grab all this. Um, jump there, jump there. Okay, everything's fine. We made it. Whew. Okay, now then, where were we? Uh, just over here. Yeah. But uh, like I said, I've already shown off why it's kind of useless because we technically have the stances for every single uh, every single enemy type in the game. Spreading more of your stories? Just telling them what they want to hear. Some of them are calling you the ghost. After you put the idea in their heads. These people stay because they believe in you. They should believe in the samurai. To them, you're both. When Lord Shimura is free, they won't need to put their faith in folk tales. Maybe. Taka's sweating over the job you gave him. He doesn't want to let you down. Let's see how it's coming along. Uh, 
I am very interested. You were looking for warriors to help save your uncle. Any luck? Some. Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi are still alive. They're dealing with their own struggles, but when it's time, they've agreed to help. And the archer, and the noblewoman. You sure that's enough? That's why I hired the store hat Ronin. Turns out their new leader is an old friend of mine. Well, sounds like you have all the help you need. Will you join us? I don't know. Can someone help with this? I'll get it. Go see Taka. We'll catch up later. My lord, I just finished it. Thank you for your patience, my lord. An iron hook with a rope attached to the end. You can use it to climb walls. Swing over things. It'll hold my weight? I tested it myself. I call it a Kaginawa. It's perfect. A minuet. No. It's a gift. I have my sister, my home, my life. That's enough. Thank you, Taka. Jin! Where are you? Yuzu? Jin! Jin Sakai! Anyone see the samurai? I know you're here! I've been looking all over for you. The Mongols have captured my best fighters. I was counting on their help to free Lord Shimura. Jin, if we don't do something, my men are dead, and your uncle stays locked in captivity. Where are they? Caged near Fort Yatade. All right, Irizo. Let's see what we can do. You said they're in cages near Fort Yatate. Where exactly? The cages are actually inside the fort. <sighs> At the top of a cliff. How are we going to free your people from there? I still have a few men who weren't captured. They're waiting for us at a crossroads nearby. We'll need the extra swords. Lead the way. I wonder if there's any way that this mission that we're about to do that seems completely unrelated to the task at hand is going to have anything to do with the oh, iron hook I just captured. got. Remember that map you gave me? Oh, the one showing Mongol supply lines. Did you find food? Yes. Very well guarded food. Too many guards for your best men? The ugly bastards were all over us. I barely got away myself. And you're sure the men are alive? I heard them singing last night. Hmm. I'm surprised the Mongols allowed that. So am I. Are you good singers? Might be more pleasant than mercenary work. <laughs> I didn't choose this life. It was my only option after our duel. Oh, that Lord Nagal's tournament. We never talked about it. Before we spawn, I invited commanders from every clan to watch. You came at me like I was your mortal enemy. Almost broke my arm. If I'd gone easy on you, everyone would have known. You were trying to kill me. I couldn't let myself be defeated by... By a lonely ronin? That's not what I meant. You were born, Lord Saka. That tournament was my one chance to gain attention. So enter the service of a lord. Become a samurai. You should have come to me. I would have hired you. Because no one else would? No. I needed to prove myself. I wish you told me this earlier. Maybe I should have. All right, let's go. We gotta hurry. We got singing men to save. Someone in Komatsu called you the ghost. Oh, Lord Sakai, not good enough? What's wrong? Afraid I'll get more famous than you? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good laugh or a bad laugh. There's definitely some tension between these two. Just a little bit, but uh, there's there's some tension there. You can tell. Hmm. I wonder how far away this is. Where's Hiro and Shinzo? They left. Not coming back. Cowards! <laughs> Running off. After all I did to keep them alive. We still have enough to save your men. 
I've worked with less. I've lost men to Mongols, sickness, hunger, but never this. They're weak. It's not your fault. Anyone else want to leave? That's it. Nice and easy. It'll be dark soon. Ready to ride to Fort Yatate? We'll figure out how to free your men on the way. Well, this is actually a lot more than I was honestly expecting for this quest, so oops. It's okay. Oh, hey, a fox den? Did we just go past that? Okay, well, we'll have to regroup back to it at some point. My plan. You're the one who got us onto that Mongol ship. Hmm. There's only one road into the fort, and it'll be heavily guarded. I need to get inside without being seen. The Mongols won't be watching the cliffs at the back of the fort. I'll climb up, go over the wall. How? Are you half monkey? <laughs> I have something to help me. I'll free your men. Once they're with me, I'll set off one of the alarms. That's your signal to ride in. And crush the Mongols between us. See? I knew you'd have a plan. Yeah, something like that. Okay, well... I'll find a way up the cliff on this side. Stay hidden until you see my signal. Good luck. Don't fall. I would very much like not to. Okay, so how am I doing this? Let's move around. This looks interesting. Very, very promising. Okay, so the way that this works is pretty simple. All you got to do is jump and press R2, and you can swing from point to point. Like so. As long as you see the white ropes around a log, woo, you should be good to go. Here's another example. You can also use these to climb your way up sheer cliffs. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And this is just something that you're going to be able to use pretty much at will. Oh, whenever you see these things sort of set up this way. Let's keep going and squeeze through. And yes, this is going to be heavily incorporated into platforming from here on out. I promise you. All right. On to the next one. Woo! Oh my goodness, it's actually really fun. One of my favorite elements to the platforming in this game, for sure. Especially since I do think, like I said, I've said many times, it is the weakest link to this game. But, oh, Once you get the grapple hook, it gets a lot of fun. I think the game, it just handles the grapple hook really well. Honestly, a lot better than Tomb Raider. I'm going to say that right now. It just feels smoother and more responsive. If I can be honest about that. Okay. No, no, no. Up we go. Jump. There we go. It's also just instantaneous. There's no... There's nothing about it that feels unwieldy. And now we kill this one. Okay, so. Let's see. How are we, how are we doing this? Okay, so there are... Definitely enemies over that way. I can... I was, well, I was going to grapple there, but unfortunately it never gave me the prompt to. I think it was because of the, the nature of my jump was off. It's okay. Let's see. I could go that way, but I would rather not. Let's go over here where there's a lot less enemy density for now. What the fr Let me roll, please. Ah. Okay, fine then. I have to just take this nice and care. That is not the weapon I want to be using. Jeez. Thank you. Now then. Head on over here. I really do love the bow in this game. If that wasn't already obvious. It's just so snappy. Now then. We got some things over here. Is that a bear? That is a bear. Have fun with that, guys. The bear coming out? There it is. Okay, get him. 
Good job, bear. Good job. All right, everybody, come to his rescue. There you go. You're doing good. Okay, this is hilarious. Kill him. Thank you. That guy is very dead. Oh, no. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. You're not allowed to do that. Okay, let's move over this way. Yeah, just, just attack them. Okay, bear's almost dead, too. Is it coming my way? Yes, it is. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. No. Get out of here. <sighs> okay. No one else saw that? All right, we're good. Now then. Sneak my way over here. Can we kill this guy with a nice shot? Thank you. Okay, other guy up ahead has a helmet, which is a little bit more problematic. <laughs> He's covered in mud. That's funny. Is that a... I was going to say, is that a freaking leader? There's no way a bear killed that. Anyway, I'm going to do this really quickly. Okay, there is definitely archers that will see me if I'm not too careful. There is one up this way. Who? Is there one over there that noticed? I don't think so. Okay, well, I'm going to do this real fast. And then I'm going to move as close to the tower as I can so the archer above cannot see me. Just giving you my whole thought process here. Goodbye. I don't even know where the gu where the men are yet. But let's uh, keep moving. Oh wait, no, I see I see uh, white outlines. Hold on. There are definitely some over there. Was there any over here I missed? I think there is. Okay, hold on. Let me get you out. You sent me. I knew you wouldn't leave us. Everyone's fine. Okay. We got two freed. And it looks like the rest are just right there, so that's not too bad. It's only six of them, which isn't so bad. Hmm. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting spotted. Quickly in the face! Glad you're all right. Okay, we're good. Ready to fight. Lead the way. Okay, so now, one at a time... Did you see that? What's that? Huh? What's that? Three, two, one, now. Oh, that probably didn't feel too good, did it? Probably should have done the chain assassination, but that's okay. Okay, everything's fine. Okay, they're all dead. Here we go. Come on, everybody. Help me out. Nope, you are super dead. There we go. Woo! Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take that steel. Is that a leader? That is a leader. Okay, I'm going to critical strike him. Now. Oh, that couldn't have felt good. Now, have one of those. Ooh, you're dead. Sweet, and we have unlocked the moon stance. And in case it wasn't obvious, what enemy have we not really, like, specifically talked about? As far as helping us take care of them. Well, it is in fact the big guys. Yes, indeed. This is specifically against bru uh, for brutes. Now, brutes can carry weapons of all types, which is why the other stances have a minor effectiveness against them. But the moon stance is specifically meant for them. Now, let me show you how why the moon stance is also simultaneously one of the best uh, stances in the entire game. It's because it works on everybody. These repeated kicks will never let you get hit as long as you are, uh, as long as you are very attentive and don't let yourself get blindsided by other enemies. They, it is ridiculously effective on these guys. So actually, let's use it on this guy right here just to show you as an example. Those constant, the constant kicks are just so strong. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, where is Ryuzo? And also, I need to grab things before we go any further, so just a second. Always have to scour the Mongol tents. Yeah, this is what I was talking about with the moon stance. Like I said, er, the, the stances we already had... Where is the signal? Am I stupid? Oh, here it is. Um, the stances we already had have their effectiveness against the brutes, but this is the optimal way of dealing with them. So we... So it is still pretty nice, and you... If you were very lazy, you can just spam this stance all day and never die. It's kind of amazing. Oh, here we go. Hi, guys. Here, you all want to have one of these? 
Ooh, there we go. Here we go. He's still staggered. This one too. Perfect. Okay, let's use this on a brute again. Oof. Golly, that is so good. Okay, and I took a hit there because I was not being attentive. Woo! Woo! Everything's fine. Here, have that. Oh my, oh, I got too close to that. I didn't know that that blast, I didn't know he had moved that close to me. That blast radius was going to kill me. All right. Here, have that. Get the kicks. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that just amazing how effective that is? I can just spam this all day long. I know it's effective, but it's working. So shut up. <laughs> That's right. The game does not like it when you do this. But I am going to do that and then switch right back to the Moon Stance because it's funny. There we go. Beautiful. Anyone else? Nope, that guy is very dead. I don't see anybody. Is there... Oh, there's a guy back here. <laughs> wow, they destroyed him. We place bets. How long did it take you to free us? I lost. <laughs> Hope you brought some sake. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. It doesn't make any sense. What doesn't? My men said the Mongols didn't hurt them. They fed them. Good food, too. No wonder they were singing last night. Just be grateful they're safe. Why in all the hells would the Mongols feed them? Maybe they expected something in return. Thank you, Jin. My men. They're everything. Well, Riozo, we were happy to help, but, uh... That is gonna be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen, of Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. Now, we still do have some more things to take care of, obviously, and we're going to get our legend increase now, which means we will finally be able to unlock smoke bombs, which is exciting. The hero of Tsushima. I love it. Love it indeed. So, yes, you throw a cloud of smoke at your feet, causes enemies to lose sight of you, basically gives you a brief moment of stealth once again, and then you can jump. It's especially useful when you're already near pompous grass and you can jump right back in and in and out of stealth at will okay so that is gonna be it for this episode guys next episode we have oh my gosh we have so many places to go we actually went really far from Komatsu Forge my goodness we can technically go back here and do this shadow of the samurai um and you speak with Yuna and stuff. I think that's actually wait what am I talking about that's actually I think how we start uh going to Castle Canada so we're gonna hold off on that for the time being um, but we still have this question. I still would like to head back into this particular area and start working my way up eventually over here to Komoda Town. And then, of course, um, we want to start heading towards Komoda Beach and we want to run into Lady Masako all over again. So much to do. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this very much and I will see you all in the next one.